<laughs> hey guys, happy Saturday. Uh, this is Binyam and Hani and Mikey. What's going on? Uh, we're coming to you from uh, Jersey City and today we wanted to follow up on our last video uh, where we talked about the importance of investing and how um, and how that could play a role in our lives. And uh, so we wanted to say, you know, furthermore that it's uh, it's it's good to plan now rather than later uh, when it comes to financial um, planning. And the reason for that is because we don't know what life would throw at us uh, down the line. Um, also, pe people think, you know, because uh, we are stable right now with our nine to fives and having great jobs, that we don't we don't we don't we don't need to invest and it's it's it could be dangerous to think that way because again we don't know what life will throw at us but even though think outside of that even though we might be stable right now um, to help people to help others uh, having some financial backing would help us and planning for that lets us do that yeah so when it comes to investing you might even be thinking that it doesn't matter if you want to or need to invest you feel like you just can't do it and the truth of the matter is we really don't know what we can and can't do um, it tends to put us into two very different mindsets uh, one being a probability thinking and one being a possibility thinking um, from a probability thinking perspective you're really basing all of these decisions on your past mm -hmm. and your past experiences. So your future um, investment opportunities um, tend to come from, when an, uh, let's, uh, let's say for an example, a, an opportunity comes your way, you tend to let these things slip through your fingers based on your previous experiences. And you tend to use words such as what's realistic or, or what's likely. And it really stops yourself from opening up to the options that you really have. When you switch over to a possibility thinking perspective, you will rarely start to use the words, I can't do it. Um, and what this opens up is it removes those limits and all it does is it shows you the, the, the steps you need to take to get to where you need to get to. If you need to acquire new skills, you acquire new skills. If you need to <clears throat> you know, talk to certain people, um, you'll get in touch with those people. It really shows you that getting to the point where making investment a part of your life really isn't that hard if you take it bit by bit yeah but um one thing to be warned i guess is uh once you do step into the possibility uh thinking mindset <clears throat> it will it it could open new obstacles or new challenges for you you know and that's usually um or actually it is uh, time money and um, and knowledge right um, um, and with these obstacles you know you could be saying to yourself you know I uh, I don't have time or you know if I would I could uh, but um, I don't know how to because I don't have the knowledge and besides you know I'm not I'm not good with money <laughs> yeah. or, or I mean anything, endless yeah, anything. Yeah. The, the, the excuses could be endless right uh, but with would, for those who do say that, what they don't realize is, um, in order to make a big, you really need to start small, right? You don't really need that much amount of time, um, um, as opposed to well-managed time, well -managed time yeah. or, or and with money, well-spent money, as opposed to huge sums of money. Yeah, we would love to have it, but you don't really need it in order to make it. Or get started, yeah. Or to get started. Um, even knowledge, you don't need the special skills, right? Small acquired uh, skills over time lead into uh, big skills. I mean, so I, I mean, at the end of the day, in order to make it big or make it to be successful, you really need a lot less than what what that than what you really think. Than what you really think. <laughs> That's what he That's was what trying he to say. <laughs> it's the braces. It's the braces. And let let's give you an example. I mean, all of us still work nine to five jobs. Yeah. Um, we work out regularly. We try um, to have fun. <laughs> and this, this, all of this stuff takes up time in our day. A but lot we, of time. You know, a lot of time in our day. And we still make sure to spend a couple hours every day uh, building up our business. Uh, uh, honestly, weekdays, I don't spend more than two hours. This is the most I've spent on yeah. weekdays. Yeah, yeah. Week, weekends maybe a little bit more. 
but usually it's hour hour and a half every day and we don't we definitely don't have all the knowledge we continually meet people to seek you know seek out knowledge from them to see what they're doing and learning so uh, when you're seeking knowledge it's not about acquiring it for yourself but it's actually meeting people and learning from them as well exactly yeah. what but one thing that we are is consistent you always need to be consistent right um, so don't worry about not having enough of time money or knowledge just get started um, we've been start doing, small start small yeah we've been doing this for two years now um, we're not where we want to be but we're definitely better than where we were two years ago yeah. right so small steps will lead to um, big things the big things um, and just stay consistent yeah, yeah. Um, and so I would like to you know after what we said right now what will you do what the next small step will you take um, you know think about it and, uh, and take action let us know comment um, like what else can you do share <laughs> um, on YouTube on Facebook and um, yeah talk yeah. to us tell us tell us what your next step will be we'd we'll love to hear from you yeah. definitely and enjoy right. the rest of your weekend yeah. thank you guys it's gonna be a nice sunny day <laughs> weekend take care Ciao. bye